Hello everyone and welcome to the Sri Lanka Morning Show. Joining us today is Dominic Ellis, Finance Advisor from Tomorrow Financial Solutions. Dominic's aim today will be to take the mystique out of finance and answer some really burning questions that I'm sure most of you have. Dominic, welcome back. Thank you very much for having me again, Sahini. Pleasure. Now, my first question for you is whether you can provide me with any practical tips and tricks on how to purchase your first home. Of course. Look, it's I guess it's one of those burning questions that so many people they have to go through, um, but they don't always know the right process, the right procedures to be able to do it. So what I actually thought about um, today is is being able to break it down into second uh, sections to be able to say this is this is how you want to do it and this is how um, it makes it easier for you. So I guess the first step is coming up with that deposit, being able to come up with that 15, 20, um, 20% 20 deposit because when you when you've got that that large sum of money um, sitting in sitting that in that bank account for for your first home, one you're going to be able to have that self gratification like wow I did this all by myself. Um, and, and two, it allows you to, it opens up a lot more doors when, when it comes to um, the, the actual bank that, we're, that, we can, that we can go with. It actually pretty much opens up every single, um, every single bank. And it also means that no lender's mortgage insurance, or uh, some people call it LMI, um, will need to be paid. So that is a, um, that's a big tick to be able to, um, to, work towards um, purchasing your first home and and not having to pay pay that LMI. Um, second tip would be um, to, to see what you're eligible for. There are so many grants at the moment. Um, you would have heard from my last segment that there's the $25,000 home, um, home builder grant, which is a, a grant that is for um, purchasing an owner-occupied, sorry, constructing an owner-occupied property. There's the $10,000 first home owners grant. So this is a, a grant that is available for all first home buyers out there that is um, wanting to essentially construct or purchase their first home based on whether you, you meet the, um, the required eligibility. And uh, there is also an additional 10,000, which a lot of people don't actually know about, but there's an additional $10,000 um, regional grant. So um, if you are, um, I know a lot of the doctors at the moment that if as soon as you, you finish your studies that you need to go out into the, um, the regional areas and, um, and serve a, a one to two year um, training there, where if you were to potentially purchase, um, purchase in the regional areas, it means that you can potentially get up to $45,000 worth of grants that is, that's actually available for you. My third tip would be um, is to keep your mind open um, and also have a realistic um, guide of where you want to purchase and um, and your time frames as well. The I guess you want to um, you want to make sure that you're you're purchasing the right amount in the right areas. Um, you don't want to go looking in a in a two point five million dollar um, suburb and expecting to pay five to six hundred thousand dollars because and, and purchase a home because your the the expectations are just not it's just not going to be there because it's going you're going to probably going to be looking at purchasing a unit or something quite small. Um, Another another aspect is um, of that particular um, looking at uh, going to being realistic is um, going to open homes, being able to find out and um, and utilize the the open homes to see what you like, what you don't like, the the process in dealing with a real estate agent, for example. So I think those are the um, some of the big and, and key indicators when when we've got these first home own um, first home buyers that are, are going out into the big wide world to be able to to purchase their their first home and i guess we've been so fortunate enough that um, we are always at, we've that we've been able to assist a lot of our clients and essentially hold ha um, hand hold their um, their hand during the the process and be able to guide them through because i guess the the biggest thing is it's like oh my goodness what am i doing i'm about to be committed into a debt that is 
four, five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars. It's a, it's a lot of money. So um, we've been quite fortunate enough that a lot of our clients have um, that have acknowledged that we've been here for them. We've been able to assist them with the whole process from A to B, from signing the first the, the document to say, okay, I want to do a pre-approval, and on settlement day. And finally getting those keys um, to be able to, um, and for your first home. So I think um, those are some of the, the, key, um, the key indicators and, and some of the tips that I want to be able to give us to our, to our viewers to assist them in, um, in this process. Now Dominic, an important question that I'm sure many people are wondering, what does the application process look like? Can you talk me through that? Of course, Sahini. It is a very simple process and we are here, as I said, to guide guide all, all our, of our viewers and our clients through this process because as I said it's um, it's a very daunting daunting process when you when you've never done it before and I still remember the first time I went and um, I purchased my first block of land and I, and I was driving here I'm like oh my goodness what did I just do like I've just now put a deposit and I'm now committing myself to be able to um, to purchase uh, to purchase a home but that that was one of my uh, that was one of the reasons why I actually decided to become a finance um, advisor because I wanted to be able to flip it and be able to assist customers in um, purchasing their first home. So the actual um, process is as simple as um, uh, a lot of our clients uh, will contact us. Um, we will have a discussion with them. We'll we will be able to from having that initial discussion, we can then distinguish what exactly their, their borrowing capacity is. We'll then find out if they've got a deposit, if they're eligible for any um, stamp duty concessions, and if they're also eligible for any grants as well. Um, we've been lucky enough that we're always on the news, we're always finding out what's news, um, what's new and, and what's available for all, um, for all clients and customers. So the first step would be um, essentially gathering all the required documentation. Now for a lot of first home um, owners, we've, we've found that they don't have an idea right at that particular second when they, when they come and see um, um, a finance advisor. So being able to even just get a pre-approval and say, hey, look, you, we've done all the, we've got all the documents, we've taken it to, taken it to the bank, and this is the um, this is the bank that um, that you can go to if you're happy with it. This will be the potential interest rate. Now this this is open your doors to be able to go and you can go sign a contract because you've essentially got the um, got the bank backing you and and saying to you, yes, okay, we're going, we're we're happy to lend to this um, to this particular client. Saying that though, there there are some required documentation that does need to be um, that needs to be provided. Again, we're um, as finance advisors um, all across all across Melbourne and um, Australia. We're always here to to be able to assist um, assist the clients in being able to do this. And then um, essentially the the way it goes is um, the clients then sign um, would. If they need any further advice, we're always there for them. But they would then essentially go and sign a building contract or a, um, a block, a, a land. They would then, um, we would then go through the, the process of signing the loan documentation, going through all the required um, uh, steps um, that needs to that needs to be completed, and then it's pretty much it's settlement day. For let's say for example, a block of land settlement day means that you've now got a block of land and it's now you you're um you're ready to build something on it so um to answer your question it is um it's a it's a simple process for the right people and um i guess we we've been quite fortunate enough to be able to we always make time for our first home owners um and being able to assist them because it is definitely one of the a scary moment but we want to take the the joy into um building your first, your, your dream home. Well, Dominic, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I'm sure I speak on behalf of myself and our viewers out there when I say that I think you've really simplified that just that little bit more for us. So okay. thank you again for your time. And thank you everyone for joining us for this episode of the Sri Lanka Morning Show.